This pregnancy has been insane. I just feel like I'm huge and my bump's growing so fast. And honestly, it's been the hardest pregnancy. And I think it's because I'm older and it's the third baby, but it's been insane, insanely hard. Hello, welcome back to another video from me, Danielle. I am so happy that you are here. First video of 2023. Very happy that I am continuing on making these videos because it's hard, full-time work, and then trying to keep up a hobby. Man, that's it's a lot. And of course, the children, that makes it even harder, right? I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad that you are interested in what I'm talking about. So today, I'm actually gonna do a little second trimester wrap-up for my third pregnancy. Uh, if you're new here, I'm pregnant with my third baby, another boy. So I have two boys right now, a newly three-year-old and almost two-year-old. He'll be two in April, right after this baby is born in March. And then we'll have a new baby. So all very close in age, they keep us busy, and my husband and I both work full time, so it's, it's a lot. But we are doing it, and we are having a great time. Our kids are the best. And I'm happy to be out of the second trimester tomorrow, 28 weeks tomorrow, which is just insane to me. It, this has been the quickest second trimester of any of my pregnancies. Honestly, such a different trimester. My first trimester was really hard. I did a little first trimester wrap up and it was very different than my other pregnancies too. Uh, just nausea. I wasn't like throwing up, which made it kind of worse because I wasn't sick like and getting that feeling out. So I just had to sleep to like get rid of the nausea, get rid of the headaches. And it was just very, very annoying. But that sickness continued until about 16 weeks, 17 weeks into the second trimester. So I was used to literally at 12, 13 weeks having no, no other symptoms like nausea, all that first trimester stuff went away. Not this time around. And the other thing I've noticed, I've been more short of breath. Like even right now, just talking, I, my organs are so pushed up and I'm just so condensed. Like honestly, let me just show you. Here's my belly bump. This is the biggest bump I have had this early in pregnancy. And I mean, I know it's not huge, but I usually do not have large bumps until 32, 33 weeks. That's when I really start to see the bump. So this one showed super soon. Everyone told me that with my third pregnancy, I would show sooner, but I was just like, oh, yeah, whatever. That's not gonna happen. It did. And it was quick. I mean, at 16 weeks, I already looked like I'd looked at 24 weeks with my second baby. Um, and some of it was, I gain weight a little quicker, but I don't feel like it's weight. I haven't asked my doctor about it and she was like, well, you're, it's all baby for now. Like, don't worry about it. But it's just weird to me that I gained weight so much faster um, with when I actually was eating better. I've been craving healthy things. Sweet things give me the worst indigestion. Like I ate so many sweets with my other babies. If I eat too much sugar, it just makes me feel like crap. I can't go to sleep because I'm having heartburn, I'm having indigestion, and I just feel like really icky. So, I don't know, it's been weird. It's been really weird. But then this bump just keeps growing and growing, which is now giving me back pain, which I did not have back pain with any of my other pregnancies. At least not back pain like this. I mean, it actually, when I'm leaning up and down, you know, doing things, picking up the kids, I can feel it. A lot of times I'd feel it when I'd lay down, but now I have it like throughout the day. It'll just appear, disappear, appear, appear disappear. It's been a lot. But I do have to say, this baby's been the most active uh, early on of all of my babies. So James was crazy. My first baby, he was really active, but it started about 30 weeks and he got super, super, super active. This baby's already doing cartwheels. He's been doing cartwheels since 16 weeks. So <laughs> it's been a little different to feel the baby that soon and like feel him at that intensity. I think that also didn't help with the nausea and some of the like headaches that I was having. Um, Cause then the baby moving just made it even worse. One big other shift I had this pregnancy is during exercise, I've been feeling a lot more round ligament pain. With my first, I had that a little bit um, towards the middle of the second trimester. But with the second, I didn't have any pain during exercise, not in my stomach. I had some other pains, like my legs would hurt and I could feel those more pressure kind of on my joints, but I didn't have any round ligament pain. Now I get it every time I run, every time I exercise, and I still am doing it. I can't stop. Uh, I just have to go a lot slower when that happens. And my breathing has been bad. I've had so much shortness of breath. I have exercise-induced asthma, but it's never really that bad. This pregnancy, it started on early, like 15 weeks. I started to already be short of breath. Uh, and I've had to use my inhaler and I have Singular that I take because that also will help you with opening up your airways. I just feel so much more condensed, which is weird because I feel like this baby's a little bit lower than my other kids, but 
it's it's just weird because I think my organs are just pushed further up. Worst part of pregnancy is that condensed stomach. I hate it because you can hardly eat. When you do eat, you feel sick and you're always full, but you're always hungry. It's it's so confusing. One good thing I have not had this pregnancy is moodiness. I'm never that hormonal moody lady who's like yelling at her husband all the time. I don't know. It's not me. It's none of my personality. And I guess my homo hormones just don't swing that way. I do get kind of like sad or I'll get like anxious. That's usually the two pregnancy emotions that I get. Um, and not anxious about the baby or anything. I literally get anxious, anxious about life. I haven't felt that. I don't know if it's just because I'm in a different place of my life. I just feel very stable, like things are going in a good direction. So maybe my mental state already is better than it's been in previous pregnancies. You know, I, we're do, we're, we have a good life, you know, we have a good life. So maybe I'm just not thinking about all those things. But with my last two, I worried a lot, just about everything, everything in general with, with, you know, the future of having, oh, what's it gonna be like to have kids? What's it gonna be like to have two kids? Honestly, not worried about three kids. I'm just, I don't have those anxieties anymore. And like sadness, I guess it's just harder to be sad when you have kids because <laughs> they're always bringing happiness to you with their funny little things that they do. It's been nice to not have the moodiness because uh, it's, it's never fun. It's never fun to have those swings. Uh, the last biggest change is the way I've been dressing this pregnancy. And I'll do a few Amazon haul videos because I have a lot of good maternity finds and non-maternity finds that I've been wearing from Amazon that have just been changing my life. <laughs> They've been very comfortable. Uh, some of it's even like my husband's clothes. I've worn so much more of like my husband's sweatshirts and things like that. My last two pregnancies, I really was showing off the bump more. Like I'm showing off the bump this pregnancy, but like in different ways. It's also just been cold and kind of dreary, so I don't want to like have to dress up necessarily. This is the dressiest thing I've worn in the last couple of days and it's literally a half zip. <laughs> but it looks nice, it looks nice enough. I think I found like a good maternity style that I feel comfortable with. It's nice to wear, it looks good, um, it complements the bump, but it's also just very comfortable. I know there's a lot of people who say don't buy maternity clothes, you're never gonna, you know, you won't use them again, blah, blah, blah. I have stuff that I've used in every pregnancy. So, you know, if you find some good staples, you definitely can use it again. So I am definitely gonna do a fashion maternity video from all my Amazon finds. Some of them I've had for every baby. Uh, and it's just been great. I mean, I've enjoyed them a lot. So hopefully you will too. Dressing for pregnancy, not easy. And it's, you know, you have to find your style. What are you comfortable with? Some people want to show off the bump. Some people don't want to. So I've found that good medium balance where it's like some days I show it off, some days I don't, but I can feel good in whatever I'm wearing. Cause if I just wear a bag, I feel like, pff, crap. I feel like it'll look good. Well, those are the differences that I have had in the second trimester here with my third pregnancy. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you press that like button and subscribe to my channel. Comment below. What has your third pregnancy been like so far? If you're in your third pregnancy or even your second, it's so crazy to me how different every pregnancy is. So let me know how you've been feeling down below and I'll be posting another video here shortly. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.